and they got to come through me to get to you. That's why they attack me. I know that. You know it too. People want to be free everywhere around the world. People living under horrid conditions when the vast majority of the people on earth don't have clean water. Don't have clean water. Don't have electricity. You, you take a picture, Google it, Africa at night and compare what it looks like. You can't even see lights in Africa at night. And yet you got these forces who are strangling our, our territory, my country, my, your motherland, Niger, where so much uranium comes from. All the uranium comes from, every, almost every light bulb in France is lit by uranium that comes from Niger, but there ain't no electricity in Niger. Freedom should not be some mystery, some, some abstract concept. I want to be free. What does that mean? If you can't feed, clothe, and house yourself, you can't be free. Whoever is responsible for feeding, clothing, and housing, and you control your life in their hands. If you can't say, I know my child, my child is going to have a future because that future is in my hand, you can't be free. And that's what this struggle has to be about. It is an abdication of our responsibility as human beings in Africa to so all those who came before us and all those who are about to be born. We have to be able to take this freedom. This is the world that we live in. There's something rotten about it, something wrong about it, and that's why I'm talking about it, and that's why we're organizing here to get together to do something about it because we don't like it. You don't like it, I don't like it, etc. And we can come together and change it. That's what it's about. My name is Rita Ann. These are my creations, original creations by Rita Ann is my name. And uh, everything here is handcrafted by myself. I like to do, I have a men's creation, a men's collection, and women and children. We need access to a black, community-controlled, anti-colonial education system and programming, and the Hula Book Fair was created to meet that need. We also commend the Northern Region of the African People's Socialist Party for taking this powerful, long-standing marketplace into our own hands by following the chairman's mandate to build political and economic hubs for and by African people ourselves. The Uhuru Movement carries on the legacy of Marcus Garvey to build the capacity for African people to feed, clothe, house, and employ ourselves, uplifting us as a whole. As a whole. All right, good, good. All right, good. I'm gonna look out for you. All right, this is working for you. I'm gonna get this one. This is All right. Yeah, ten dollars. Who signs it? So I'm Wadia Beckton. I am the owner and operator of Chrissy's Teacup. And the Chrissy and Chrissy's Teacup is my mother, who is passed on now. But I named my business after her. And um, we have a tea for every zodiac sign, as you can see, from Aquarius to Capricorn. All the signs are included. We have an immunity that was my answer to COVID. It was my very first tea. And all of my teas are 100% organic. Everything, every fruit and herb and nut is organic and blended by me by hand. And you can find me at chrissysteacup.com. And that's Chrissy, C-H-R-I-S-S-I-E. And my, it is also the same handle for Instagram and Facebook. Hello everybody, I am Synovia Uhuru. Um, I am a movement and music artist, and I do movement because it really, really has changed my life, especially during the pandemic. It created a healthier version of myself. My main thing I do is, is music, I'm, I'm a singer, so um, you can find that all somewhere under Synovia. But when it comes to movement, I think it's so important to take care of your body. I think it's so important to love yourself, and I think it's so important to stretch, okay? Thank you. Both hands out, so the right to the left. This also gives you some good hip stretches. Right, left. So this book is about that. This book is about also 
the fact when you talk about law, what is law? Anyway, I know you heard that Moses went up on the mountain and came back with something written in stone. Uh, and that's what they talk to you about, Judeo-Christian law. Law is the opinion of the ruling class. Law is the opinion of the ruling class. Whatever those who control society say the law is, that's what it is. That's why you didn't have nothing to do with the law when they put Nat Turner on trial. Y'all know they did, but y'all know who Nat Turner was, don't you? When they put him on trial, they took him to court and found him guilty. But think about this. They found Nat Turner guilty, and then they hired him. But if they had found him innocent, would Nat Turner have been free? He still would have been a slave, isn't it? Let the park say, oh, hooray! Hooray! Hello, I'm Karen Magic Fingers Smith. I'm glad to be here once again, ninth year. I think I've been here for just about most of that ninth year, performing out here, giving some love, and uh, spreading the right vibes so we can keep going forward. It's a movement. It's two, uh, it's a nation, one nation, under a movement, that's what I'm gonna call it. And that's the day. Much love, keep it going. Ahuru, ahuru. So, so this is basically my business, and, and um, I sell my artwork, and I also sell shirts too. So, so my artwork right here, it, it costs $30, and my shirts cost $25. And I also have my business cards right here. So, so this is my ID. This artwork is based off my character, Kasi. Okay, so Kasi is my comic book character. And, and this is, and this is two of core and Piggy, but like a mashup. And what's your name? Kolo. Hello, we out here today representing the Free Library of Philadelphia. Well, should everybody get a library card? We offer more than books and DVDs. We also have free internet. We also have programs to help the kids online. Just look us up at the freelibrary.org. Yuhuru, Yuhuru. Hey, this is Dante Alexander, aka Harmaniac, um, H A R M A N I A C on Instagram. festival and it is amazing to be here um, like I haven't done it in so long you know the pandemic has shut us down but so good to rejoice with you all and kind of be in good energy and good vibes um, you know I've been singing for a long time I'm from Philly singing from the age of two in church choirs um, to all types of choirs I'm actually in a choir now called the voices of Philadelphia so you know check me out there check me out on Instagram check me out on Facebook as Dante Alexander and Listen, just continue to, you know, elevate, continue to resonate, continue to, you know, find the source within. And I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. can take my eyes off of you. Hi, my name is Gretchen Elise. Wake up and jump, wake up and jump. Wake up and jump, wake up and jump. I was very honored to perform here at the Huru Book Fair Marketplace in Clark Park, which is my neighborhood, with Karen Smith, the amazing Karen Smith Magic Fingers percussionist. We did a little bit of original stuff that I have produced and released. You can find it on all streaming networks under Gretchen Elise. G-R-E-T-C-H-E-N-E-L-I-S-E -E -E Music! Check, check. Yeah. And I'm happy to represent also some West Philly creators and uh, vendors. I'm wearing Silk Tent. I'm wearing Simply Netfa of I&I &I Collective. And I'm just honored to be part of this event. This is about something bigger than just music. This is about equity. This is about access. This is about reparations. 
and I'm happy to do my part, mostly as a community member, as an educator, to try to bring up the next generation with some kind of access, some kind of equal opportunity. That's my passion. It comes out through my music, comes out through my teaching, comes out through being a mom. Again, I'm Gretchen Elise. I'm all over the place performing. You can find me online, GretchenElise.com, or follow my um, social media, Gretchen Elise Music. And listen to the stuff that I make that's original because I may inspire you. You may have already inspired me, and we all carry it forward in our healing path in this world. Good morning. My name is Brenda Amanda Moya. I am excited to be here at the Uhuru. Last time I read for the children, so that was the best rewarding moment for me because I was able to read um, the book. If you're, a, if you're a kid, still out of Philly, which is my first children's book, and I had a, a, it's a thousand words. <laughs> and most parents I hear, they tell me, oh, our kids, they want us to read this every night. We're tired. It's a thousand, but it, 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 it captures Philadelphia. It captures everything, our food. It captures, you know, the art museum, all the fun places. We, it, captures, it captures family, all the fun places that we, we go Smith Memorial, you know, like libraries. It, it captures Philadelphia in, in the way all you need to do is just pick up the book with your child, go downtown and visit all the iconic places that we have while eating our Philly food, you know, like cheesesteaks, you know, gelatos, you know, visiting the zoo. So, you know, it has a lot of, you know, and this is one of the, this is one famous guy. He gets visited every day more than I do <laughs> by thousands of people. Just being here, the atmosphere, the day is beautiful and people are walking around and they seem to be in a happy mood. So, you know, I'm excited to be here and I'm thankful you know, for this moment. I'm Hadia from Hadiz Boutique, and I'm here at the Uhuru Marketplace. And I have everything here on my table candles, sage bundles, Palo Santo, stones, herbal teas, bath soaps, books, everything on sale today. Please come on out. We are in West Philly, 43rd and Chester Avenue. Please come on out. Come on out. And I am Hadia from Hadiz Boutique. Peace. Good afternoon, my name is Lydia and I come to Europe, right, I usually come in April and then I try to come back in the fall, right, um, the, we sell African fabric, most of my fabric are from Nigeria uh, and the name of my business is Gigi Boutique, we are also on FC.com, come out and visit us, Huru is doing a wonderful thing for the community, is bringing awareness to all the plight of African and African continent, so come out and join us, we love to see you here, thank you. Chances are that our families would suffer. And through our campaigns with the African National Women's Organization, we contribute to the destruction of, of the system that exploits the labor of our women, but also exploits us in general. That this system itself is, is here, is stealing all of our resources, as we can see. And that's why this, this uh, book fair is so important. This is Masia Blue here at Roots Generate for the book fair here at Clark Park. Roots Generate is a collective. Our mission is to provide authentic and affordable accessories and apparel straight from the motherland. A lot of the things are made in West Africa, some things in East Africa, and that's what we represent. You can find us at rootsgenerate.com or follow us on Instagram at R-O-O-T-S 
G-E-N-E-R-A-T-E. Roots Generate. They wanted me to run so that they would be able to say he broke the law. They're lying now about everything they say. And I ain't running. That's over. We ain't running no more. Hi, my name is Michelle Lee. My artist name is Miss Lovely. I'm an artist, author, and life coach. I have three books. One is called Journey to Love, Journey to Stardom, and Crystal Bell. Journey to Love and Journey to Stardom was created to um, inspire and uplift other people who have been through adversity in life and also help to heal myself. And my third book, Crystal Bell, was created to inspire us to stay connected to our inner child and heal our inner child wounds. So these are my babies. Um, I'm, my music, Journey to Love, also has a EP soundtrack to it. it. Has five songs to it. Journey to Stardom. I'm in the process of doing a full album for that book. And Crystal Bell has two songs to that book. Um, one is called You Are Love, and the other one is called Witch, which stands for Wonderful, Intelligent, Talented, Creative Human Being. You can find all of my books and my music on Amazon, and you can find my music on all the streaming platforms. Thank you. Uhuru, 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 what do we do? Offer programs of liberation for African self-determination. Uhuru means freedom. That's Uhuru's theme song. I love it when you say my name. I love good wine and fine cuisine and candlelight. Hello, so my name is Montrell Duckett. I am a black author, a first time self-published black author, and a book that I recently wrote with one of my sons is called Mentors All Around Me. And the inspiration from the book came from just having three black sons growing up in an area where, growing up in Philadelphia, where I wasn't even exposed to mentorship until I went to college. And the first people who exposed me were members in my fraternity of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. So prior to going to college, I didn't know what formal mentorship was. So those were the introductions to and inspiration to writing a book. But then knowing that working for the school district of Philadelphia, being involved and being around young children, I wanted to inspire and instill mentorship into them at a young age because there's no reason that you have to wait until 20 years old like I did to find out what mentorship is right good and bad because often we see mentorship but we don't know if it's good or bad and I want to make sure that children understand that mentorship can go both ways but knowing that this is what a mentor looks like this is what a mentor that I want in my life this is the characteristics that I need in that person. So I want to make sure that I'm exposing children at a young age to what mentorship is. So that is the inspiration of the book. And you can go find it on Amazon. I also have a website. And the book is called Mentors All Around Me. You can type it in on Google and it'll pop right up. And you can follow me on Instagram at Duckett Design, which is D-U-C-K-E-T-T-D-E-S-I-G-N. Duckett Design. Thank you so much. Again, Montreal Duckett checking out. They cannot give justice to us. We have to be responsible for creating our own justice. That's what it's all about. That's why we say all power to the people and black power to the African nation. Uhuru. Thank you so much. Uhuru.